Hello guys, Wild Trekkie here. Welcome back to another episode of Planet Base. Um, you may remember last time we were just going to sit and let it run and we've done that and our food resources are going up. Our normal resources aren't so much. Um, but we've built a, a, a new uh, biodome here and put in a few starchy and um, things like the mushrooms and tomatoes and lettuce things. And then we've got a couple of medicinal pads here as well. Um, that means though probably um let's have a look at our thing we're going to need some more um biologists because we've only got two uh, and we're going to need some more workers uh water might be an issue as well uh yeah we're just about there on water but with these growing here yeah so i think the next stage is really expansion let's uh let's start off that straight away because without anybody here to maintain these things um, we probably need to build this over here so we'll do it fairly close to there link it to that to that there we go uh, what does it need for that it needs four so we're going to need a few more resources uh, we've got three there so let's just up the production in here because that's going to be the priority now to get the the resources built yeah and these two biologists are going to be really really busy at the moment aren't they because there's one here is he a biologist he is operating that machine he's got to look after all these and all these so uh, and there's the other biologist there so between the two of them they're going to be kept quite busy so that's why it's really important that we do get this um built here so yeah we're going to need four more there um so we've got somebody in the mine, that's fine. And then we've got a couple of people here working this again, so that's good. Both machines have been operators as they are. This is getting quite full really, isn't it? 93% uh, full. Okay, so I hadn't thought about that. Storage might be uh, quite critical. So let's just get this landing pad built first. And then we'll focus purely on workers and biologists initially. Um you know getting that going and then um, yeah from there on we can see how we get on so let's just speed that up a little bit so we got three but we're pending got another one being brought out have we supposedly there's three there who knows our power's getting filled up to the brim um, and obviously that didn't go down during night because we had that so power's not an issue water is something we'll keep an eye on but that's still full so that's okay for the minute but as you can see the maintenance on these things yeah these two guys they're working around the clock hopefully we can get that built pretty soon so now we're just pending two so we've got those three we've got some more being built well kind of yeah so okay so let's let's let this run a little bit i'm not going to rush into doing things um we really need to get to get that pad built before we start building extra storage um but that must be full 94 percent because you know these guys are leaving this here so it's not getting stored anywhere there's not anybody carrying it around so that's the workers but we're all right for food we're not in the situation we were before um, it's just yeah having this looked after and having the uh, and having the resources made definitely going to be the priority because that's again it's going to be stuff we've, we're going to need for when we're building all these extra bits as well so um, yeah and he's using stuff from there so is that another one it is bringing it out there oh no it's spares you got to what are you going to repair the wind turbine failing again but that's alright, we're okay on spares, we've got spares production working, so we've got um, that working there. And I've set the manufacturer limits, uh, which I can't remember how to get into now. Um, one of these, F7, there we go. Um, yeah, so I've kind of set those limits so we don't go over the top on the spares, any more than 15 and we'll, we'll keep it there, just depending on how. So, and again, it's then not taking a worker at the moment, it's, or an engineer actually, I think, isn't it? 
Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so it takes an engineer to actually uh, produce that. It also takes um, the metal and um, bioplastic. Oops. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get that resource up together. Have you done it? Was that you taking it there? No, it wasn't. You've got to, have to repair something again. Something else is broken now. The solar panel. Okay, fair enough. And our landing pad is being built. Excellent. So let's set landing permissions now. Was that F5? It was. So let's see. So that's that's kind of our default there. Um, so we kind of yeah engineers. Let's let's leave it as 15. Although we probably do with one extra engineer. Um, medics, we got one. That's not a problem. Guards, not a problem. So. What have we got first of all? Who's coming in here? One of each. So we've got um, an engineer there. Right, so we definitely can turn the engineer off now then. Because we've got two of those. Um, let's turn that down to naught. And that down to naught. There we go. So uh, workers and biologists. Um, I kind of want more biologists at the moment. Uh, so let's leave it as that, 60-40. Hopefully we'll start getting those in. Um, I'm kind of wondering, do we actually, um, do we worry about traders so much? Um, because, I don't know, do, do we need to worry about the traders too much at the moment? Uh, I guess we could get some resources in if we wanted to. Uh, we don't really need another constructor bot. Um, these are worth what five? They're worth five. Um, yeah. Don't know. Do we just take their metal? Sell a little bit of food. Have we got supplies for it? And one of those, thirty-five, forty-two, um, forty-two, forty-five. Take a bit of money back. too many there we go let's do it let's do it but I'm just wondering do we want the distraction of traders because now colonists can't come in that's that's a, a thing about this is colonists can't actually get in whilst we're and let's just turn that off it's consuming power we don't necessarily need it and there's the power going out so we're right on the cusp of power at the moment because of um, these various bits we actually still got stuff outside we have haven't we um yeah so power is quite critical there's nothing really else we can turn off as such um we're producing the metal we need because this storage is 86 so we're not too bad there at the moment they've gone so hopefully we'll get more colonists but let's let's just turn off traders for a minute because I just really want the the production going. I really want the biologists and the workers. So we really want this being maximised um, and this being maximised. Which at the moment we don't really have the resources to be really pushing these guys as much as we'd like to. So yeah, let's uh, see how this pans out so uh, spares were on 13 yeah so I'm not too worried about spares power and I guess that doesn't really help is the fact that this uh, was needing repair so that's probably not helped our power solution so we've got some more let's see who we got over here so again one of each I think so we've got a worker going straight to the mine and then we've got a medical not medical biologist yeah hello candy welcome to the colony you're very much welcome so um, 11 people are up to uh, let's just have a quick look so we now have four biologists which is good uh, we don't need any guards at the moment engineers okay medic okay so we don't worry about visitors at the moment yes so that's alright 
and you're coming here to work still which is good and hopefully as we get more biologists in then they'll be able to sleep more won't they so um which is obviously a good thing right i think it's time that we do get some more power built um what have we actually got on here is this medical supplies and spares power is out so we're not storing enough anymore we're using more than we're storing so let's get a new solar panel built here a larger one not a massive one but it's the larger one i guess here will do uh yeah that should be all right connect it to there we should have the resources for it and then i think the other thing um storage we are storing a lot of stuff here so vegetables tomatoes and things like that it's all getting stored here so we probably need another big storage here somewhere which is close to this production that's got that production there It'll be close for that so um yeah put some food storage there and then that gives us the option of putting another dorm and that over there so there's some people getting well he's hungry probably because he was um just about to eat so yeah it's not so bad uh did we get that built we did get that built and we're getting more people in so um that's good up to 14 now uh let's just have a quick look at that uh landing permissions no that's grids oh what was that on red is it water yeah water that's the thing so that's the other thing we need to do we just built power let's build water um biologist five so workers six let's sandstorm in an imminent let's just get nothing but biologists in you come on in first and then we are going to close the airlock hopefully you can still get out yeah you can right airlock's closed because then that way none of you guys are going to go out there is there anybody in here at the moment there is a worker in the mine hopefully he's not going to come out um yeah power storage is up to its maximum and again we might need then another power storage uh but we definitely need another water um but we got the stuff to produce it that's the question so let's get uh water what do we go for water storage is that the issue no because the consumption is more so that's going down slowly isn't it so another um that's right isn't it yeah so can we build it over this way we're we building out this way so we can't do anything there so let's do it close as we can there that's going to go to there but obviously they won't be able to do it until the sandstorm's gone um yeah you're tired you're sleeping that's okay it has our food situation so that's full so we could actually probably do with another food processor in here just a, a meal maker if you like and somewhere else to in fact um let's recycle that quickly put that in there and then we can put another table why can't I put that there? Is that because of the telly? Well, I don't know. That was a bit odd, wasn't it? Because there's nothing else in there. Is that what it is? If you have a big table, you can't put a video screen. Let's recycle that a minute then. And then let's make another video screen somewhere else, if we can. Video screen. Yes, we can put one over here. There we go. Oh, it's because that's there still, isn't it? That's probably why. Oh no, that's come from the video screen. Um, and now we can. Maybe it was the video screen. How bizarre. Okay, and water fountains we're okay on. But let's put a plot plant. Let's put a couple of plants in here and make people happy. Yeah, so that video screen is definitely blocking. Because I can put a plant there, but I can't put one there interesting never knew that something i have learnt um how are we doing here maintenance still needed still need more biologists let's 
Open the airlock up again, the sandstorm's gone, isn't it? Let people get out there and uh, get production up. So, production's up, let's just get the workers in there though. So we've got two workers in there at the moment and then we can get them turning that uh, into ores. So I think storage. I think that's, uh, we don't want a control center just yet. But what we do need is more storage. Um, storage. So it's going to be a 4x4. Four four, which is fine. And we're going to have to connect them to both. So that means another one each of those. Um, let's do that there for now and yep so you're making this as well so that's two as well yeah so the the, the sort of the workers have really got to be working both of these um because without it we're not going to get those things built at all things being repaired very good still nothing in the medical bay which is uh nice to hear how are we doing on our grids how's um it's not what i wanted um, is it F1? No, I can never remember. Let's just have a look. Uh, so power water oxygen is okay at the moment. Power obviously is night time, but yeah, oxygen is a critical thing. And we will need more storage of the power. Because we're producing it, we've got some nice big solar panels now producing the power. Um, but if we use it during the night, which we're not at the moment, um, then we'll have to be wary of that. But as long as we're producing it, then that's okay, he says confidently. So, how many in the mine now? We've got all three in the mine. We've got two people in the mine. Meteor impact connection on our power storage. Of course it would be. <laughs> it's bound to be. We obviously don't need these things out here, do we? Spares and medical supplies. No. Okay, we've got another colonist. So, hopefully just biologists because that's all we've got it set to. So we've got 14 in the moment. And here they come. Got a couple more biologists, Sebastian there. And, oh, we've got three there. There is three there, isn't there? Ulrich. And Edmund, welcome guys. This is your world. Get to it. Get get sorting. Um, get 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 that built. Come on, you just arrived. We send people to the mine straight away. You need to be onto the food straight away. Um, but we're certainly much better positioned than we have been at this stage. So quite happy with that so far. So far, he says. But we know how this game so quickly just. Yeah, bites you in the foot and... Mm. Well, I think the barges are coping okay at the moment with there. So I've put a few more in here so we've got at least one of each type of pad. Um, we are still waiting on resources, so I've put an extra processor here. And hopefully we can get those up. Uh, this should be a few more biologists. Which, at the moment, we've got 20 people and 11 biologists. Let's see if that goes up. 13 yes so um i think we're probably to be to be fair um let's let's change that over now to get some workers in because yeah we've got 13 barges not enough workers so we're going to get some more workers in and then we can start evening that out in fact we might get one or two of the other ones and we'll kind of do a cut off 22 people. I'm thinking we're good, probably going to get to around 30 um, before we actually turn this off and start looking at base expansion again physically and that we can cope with it because it would be nice to get our storage done. Um, probably ought to put some more beds in with this many people. So let's do that. Let's get another three beds in here. And then once we've done that, you see, we can start worrying about... Um, Things like another another area there for them. Um, I think general happiness is quite good. I think, um, yeah, so, you know, the welfare is good. 
prestige could do with being doing a bit higher um, and we can do things like putting in the sort of where the, the fitness the gym and all that kind of stuff a bar um, so let's get our colonists happy here I think that's that's probably going to be the priority um, spares are okay at 10 at the moment so I'm not too worried about that did we ever get these in no look at them still there still uh, <coughs> losing quality that's, uh, that's not so good but uh, we did get a meteor strike on this but we're okay on that we didn't kill anybody medical wise we're still okay um, and I think once we get all this done because this needs three more that's got everything it needs um, and we've got this over here being built as well the water two more so we do need um, more metals more metals but we've got seven there so this should be the priority this should be you know get them built guys get it done um, he's bringing another one over there that's good two more um, power wise not too bad uh, we're still going into um, that second one but yeah we're, we're not not running out of power at the moment and water again um, that is, is stored back up again so although we're going to put in this water extractor and we'll put in some more storage um, in fact do we want to do that let's let's recycle that for a minute and then that can get used over here and get this built more quickly um, because it doesn't seem that you know I think we go through spurts of it but I think it's settled down again now so we'll see what happens with these um, when these pads get built here uh, let's see nobody's building any beds at the moment um, you can get out can't you yeah you just do it more slowly right let's speed the game up a little bit um, you want maintaining yeah we know so again yeah we're not running out anywhere near the power um, we've got a lot of power in there so that's fine um, that's pending one there oxygen consumption of course um, and something just ran out there we're going to get more workers that means more oxygen is going to be consumed so yeah um, doesn't say where we're running low on it though that's the thing and that's quite key really because it's where more people are that we run low on it which seems to be around here but we've got an oxygen generator there so we could put another one over here or over there oxygen consumption production yeah I just need to know where guys where so that's built um, hmm where do we put one so that's where it's all going it's slowly building out from here isn't it right let's just get one in uh, it's an internal structure O2 um, if we put one eh, let's put one here and make it fairly large and connect it structure out oxygen 5 yeah we know well that's okay you're not going to die yet of having no oxygen there's, there's areas you can go 6 out of oxygen, 12 out of oxygen is this thing, this doesn't need repair or anything does it? no, it's just not producing, it just produces water and electricity um, and more colonists let's um, let's turn that off for a minute in fact we can't turn it off, we just go into this one here and say no traders no colonists um, we got enough things to do trading with yet no we'll build up some more stuff before we start doing some trading um, yeah we'll just not have anybody visiting at the moment let's uh, airlock has no oxygen yes that's good that's because nobody's got any oxygen no one's got any oxygen here it is here look we just need those those three have we not got those either because we built beds and bunks and things like that let's prioritize this being built if we can because uh, that's taking one of those so let's recycle we don't want those being built yet these are going to be the same aren't they yeah let's recycle just when you think you're getting uh, getting good and you get a new problem a new crisis so there's no oxygen there's no water uh, 
Is that because there's no oxygen and people can't get in and out? People are hungry. Airlock has no oxygen. We know. What can I do about that? There's there's nothing you can do, is there? If you've got no oxygen, you've got no oxygen. These poor diet. These. these. So, right. Um, let's switch off things. Um, let's switch off this in here a minute. Let's switch off the medical bay. Let's switch off the dawn because it's daytime. Does that bring the oxygen back? Let's switch off that one as well. Someone's died. New type of death. And someone's eating their food on the floor over there. Why are you eating your food on the floor? Are you eating food on the floor? <laughs> New type of death wave. No oxygen. Let's... Uh, how can we... There's, there's nothing you can do because if you've got too many people... They're all dying of asphyxiation. Let's just get... Surely that should start bringing... I don't understand why that doesn't bring the oxygen back on again, because that is there, but it's not producing anything. Four have died of dehydration. I don't understand this. What's happening? Something's happening. We've got water, but there's no oxygen. Because there's no oxygen, no one can breathe. It's going up again. It is going up. Yeah. We're down to seven colonists already. <laughs> oh, no. This is... Don't let's get to the stage of no biologists. Thirteen colonists are di oh, no bi biologists. <sighs> we have a new type of death wave. I don't think th the oxygen's back on in there and there. But I don't think we're going to recover from this again. This this is just amazing. How quickly things just change in this game. Um we definitely want some colonists, but I don't think our uh, <laughs> prestige is going to help us on that. Uh, we need to change that as well to 100% biologists. Because without any biologists, but we've got no engineers. Got no medics and no workers. Oh, I've got two workers. So yeah, you two workers, you are it, and you're tired. Um, we might as well switch that back on then. Let's switch that back on because there's only two of you now using oxygen, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's. <laughs> uh, We're back down to two again, and you're both going to sleep. Can we get... Can we encourage people to come and visit us? Is that doable? Can we get people to come and colonize and... I don't think we can. Uh, decent. Okay. 34 prestige. We switched everything back on. Maybe that's making a difference. I don't know. 34 prestige decent so we might do okay guys well look why don't you come and join us next time and we'll see if these two lowly workers um, and these robots um, which won't get repaired by the way um, yeah let, let's see if we can bring this out of the brink um, can we get them up again or is that a new death wave 
come and find out next time here on Planet Base with me, Wild Trekker. We'll see you then. Bye for now.